Hi, yeah, so for this video, I am testing out my Thermarest new XO. testing out my Neo Air Expo. I say testing out, I've used it before but the first time I used it I um, managed to puncture it twice somehow before I even laid down to sleep on it so it was just deflating all night. I think I uh, punctured it before because I didn't used to use one of those silver foil mats that I use now and um If your tent's got a really thin bathtub floor, like mine has, I'd say if you're using an expensive mat, to definitely use a foil foam mat thing underneath it as well, or just a foam mat. So, yeah, if I don't wake up chilly at four in the morning, that will be an improvement, so we'll see how it goes. this is so gorgeous here but you look at the ground it's just covered in branches like I mean that stuff can just fall on you so can't stay here I finally found a place to pitch so it'll be either there or there So the tent's up now and I'm going to inflate my Thermarest. This comes with a um, like an inflation sack so you use the ambient air to blow up instead of your breath which has moisture in it and can cause problems so yeah we're going to do that now and that's down. So here's the valve, you put this over the valve. Okay, so to blow it up, you just sort of, like this just obviously fills with air by itself, so just scrunch it together and push that air into the mat. And just do that over and over. mat up. I think it only took about six bags of air I guess it is so um, that's not bad at all. Um, I'm really hungry so I'm gonna get unpacked and get something to eat going. I've got homemade lasagna tonight so I wasn't walking very fast so I've bought heavy food but really looking forward to it. Um, tonight's looking to only get down to about seven degrees so much the same as the last camp I did which went down to only eight. So it'll be a nice little comparison. I did wake up, I would say cold, um, more like chilly, 
in the early hours as I usually do with the other decathlon mats so it'll be interesting to see if this one makes a difference. I've also got new this set of three Van Gogh dry bags so I've got um, the big one's got my sleeping bag in it this one orange medium's got my dry warm clothes for sleeping and the little blue one's got my electronics so this is the first time I've used these as well and um, yeah I really like them because they push all the air out so everything gets much more compressed um, and it saves I mean before I was using sort of bin bags and things to keep stuff dry if it rains but these are much nicer and pretty cheap as well I'll just show you around my little camp before it gets dark this is where we are got these lovely trees behind us nice camouflage and the ferns and there's nothing directly above to fall on my head during the night so that's good there is a path over there behind those trees and though I can see and hear people when they come by they can't see me so that's okay And this way. It's a nice open bit here, but there's a path over there you'd be visible from. And you don't want that falling on your head. So I'm nicely out of the way. Right over there. All hidden. Love it. Let's make some food. This is homemade lasagna, just smashed up and a bit of water in it so it's easier to cook. It's so good. That was really nice food. Um, I've actually shut the door already because there's some big animals about. I know the deer, like you know how they bark, but it's quite a big deep bark. And I'm aware that it's rutting season as well. Basically, I don't want a stag to walk past, think I'm pissing him off, and charge at me. Which is unlikely. But I thought if I just shut the door and he sees the tent, he might not be too bothered about that. Also, I started, um, like I searched YouTube for what a stag bark sounds like. And it does sound like that. And then I'm, I'm basically sitting in a tent in the woods playing out a stag barking from my phone so if there is a stag nearby he'll be well and truly pissed off thinking he's got some male competition in a tent so that's good to know first impressions of the x farm feels quite comfy and it's it's a little bit crinkly like noise wise but look Everyone says it's like laying on crisp packets. <laughs> but I wouldn't say it's that bad actually. It's not too bad. I'm not going to bed yet. I'm just flumping around on it, seeing what it's like. It's nice. I got the uh the Max by the way, the big one. Big rectangular one, so should be nice and comfy. Okay, so you can see with this mat being the max how big and rectangular it is, so if you're fidgety, ah look, whirly gig, hello. If you're a side sleeper or a wiggly sleeper, this will be great. I was willing to carry the extra weight for a big mat. Time for a hot chockey before bed. Just add whiskey. I need to go for a wee, so. I'm gonna have to go outside and take on Staggy McStagface. Let's go have a look around.
like all woods at night, it's a little bit Blair Witch. Nothing about. I'm all snuggy in bed. I've brushed my teeth. I'm really cosy. I'm really tired, so I hope I sleep well tonight. I don't usually sleep well on nights out just because I'm not used to not being in my bed. So about the sleeping bag, like I need a new sleeping bag for winter. I've been looking into all these expensive sleeping bags, but I think I've decided to get a um, Lev Leviathan, is it? OEX 900, because um, that's pretty reasonable and it looks quite good specs. I mean, it's, I'm not expecting it to be like incredible amazing game changer but I think it might get me through the winter it doesn't look like it's got a massive amount of space for your legs but it's also not like an extreme mummy so I think I'll get by alright with that so this might be my last night um, for the winter in this my old trusty mountain warehouse summit 250 which does me incredibly well actually but I do need something warmer for winter, so yeah, I'm going to sleep now, and um, I'll see you in the morning, bye! Hear the rain. Love it. This is an 11pm update. Um, really really toasty I'm debating taking my jacket off I've taken my hat off I've tied my hair up I never usually do these things because I'm too cold and I'm really really warm so appears to be good stuff so far warm but yeah it's not sleeping so I'm just having something else to eat because I get hungry where I can't sleep and then definitely can't sleep. It's a beautiful night. I've got the door open now. advice from my pot noodle As soon as you start drifting off, something like that starts kicking off. Morning! I've been so warm all night. So nice. So yeah, really good. Oh, I just boiled in my water for my porridge and my coffee. So I slept till about half five and woke up. And I wasn't cold at all, which is, I think, the first time ever actually I've not woke up cold. And um, 
then fell back asleep again till seven. So it's it's just starting to get light now. It will be soon. So I'm just gonna have some tea and get packed up. Tent's nearly put away, just finishing my coffee, um, that's probably the best night's sleep I've had while camping, definitely the warmest, I actually got down to 6 according to my phone, um, which is still warm last time, it was 7 I think and I was I woke up chilly like I always do and I didn't, so I'm really impressed with it, see how it does in winter in proper cold temperatures with a winter mat that I'll be getting soon, so that's quite exciting but yeah Love the mat, really good. Um, it's not as crinkly as everyone says it is. It'll be fine.